Years ago, as a Navy pilot, I was asked to perform a night vertical pickup from a submarine. On the sub was a sailor with appendicitis. A night vert rep to a submarine is a classic example of operational necessity. That is what the military defines as a mission so important that it is worth the risk of loss of both aircraft and crew. If a military pilot declares an operational necessity, he or she can expect a board of inquiry upon returning home. I knew this full well, weighed all the parameters, and made the decision to proceed. Fast forward to a military retirement in a new position. As part of the job, I recently spoke with survivors of civilian medical helicopter crashes. Their stories described a culture very different from the military. Even though they have their rules and launch criteria, they certainly aren't followed with the same rigidity. Story after story told of the three to go, one to say no rule, being ignored without administrative repercussions. Then there were the stories where disregard of this rule led to fatal crashes. This culture is something I'm not used to. The rank structure in the military and consequences outside of physical exploration are always in the thought process when making cockpit decisions. This is one time where I believe the civilian world could learn something from the military. Follow your rules. They are there for a reason. Investigate when they are not followed. Before every flight, think about the consequences and if the mission is really worth it. Pilots, while the ultimate decision to launch and continue a flight is usually yours, don't be afraid to ask for and weigh your crew's input. So often we learn from failure, but it is much nicer to learn from success. Incidentally, we did successfully complete the night vert rep. I also faced that board of inquiry and they all agreed that they would have done the same thing. It was a good feeling knowing that we had saved a life and had done it within the rules.